Hello, it's Mel again with my HDC HD2. I want to be going over questions that uh, on YouTube that you've asked. Um, I'm also going to be showing you uh, Cookie's Home Tab. It's been out for about a month, month and a half. Um, I've been waiting to see if they're going to do anything else with it, um, but they're not. It looks like it's running real smooth. I want to show that to you. I'm going to be showing you a couple of uh, tweaks that you can do to your phone just to personalize it. Um, but before I do, uh, you should go to the following web page. Go to www.htchd2forums.com to search our forums. I'm sure you can find a lot of answers to your questions. Um, a lot of the tweaks that I'm going to show you can be downloaded from XDA developers or from Omarket. First thing I'm going to show you is my boot screen. Now, 11AJEE -E asked, what ROM am I using? I'm using the standard HTC HD2 ROM that came with the phone. So you'll notice when I uh, turn the phone on that it's the ugly pink stick together thing. You can get rid of that by flashing um, HSPL onto your phone. Um, when you flash HSPO, you can change the first wallpaper, which is this first wallpaper here. Um, since I didn't flash it, I can only change the second and third. Uh, the second one's an animation. You can also change the sound. Um, I have mine sounding like a transformer, which I think is pretty cool. The second animation screen, uh, I used fire. The third one uh, is just that screen there. Next thing I have on my phone is Cookies Home Tab. It's version 1.8.5. It's the newest one. Um, if you take a look here, um, Cookies uh, gives you uh, different clocks, or you can install your own clock, which you can pull off the XDA site. I have a Filipino clock here. Take a look at that. Um, you can change what you want on your main screen. I have a player here uh, for music. I also have uh, toggle switches here so I can uh, turn my Wi-Fi on if I want to. Uh, Bluetooth, make my phone silent. And there's some other selections you, could, uh, you can do. Um, on the last version, if you scrolled up it just gave you a blank screen um, this one you can also add anything you want I have my outlook here also uh, the time uh, scroll all the way up I have my um, mp3 player with my clock this screen here is uh, the home tab menu you can actually uh, scroll four ways on it you can actually go to the cookies home tab editor here you can uh, change your lock screen um, choose which applications that you want on your quick list bunch of miscellaneous settings that you can have but it gives you a lot of uh, things that you can do to customize. You can even change around uh, the way that you want your home screen to look. You can just have a big clock up there if you want. Or you can have uh, the digital clock flipping. Um, again, you can go to XDA Developers and download it. Uh, I think you can also download it from Omarket and there's some other sites that you can download it from. Another thing you can download from XDA is these icons up here at the top. Um, the standard HTC HD2 just gives you that black and white grayish feel. Um, I like color, so I added color here. It's pretty nice. If you take a look at my screen, I have different backgrounds. That's for the main home. Swipe over, gives me another different background. And if you uh, touch start here, it gives me three different backgrounds. 
Also, my lock screen has a different background. The program that I use to do that is a wallpaper changer. WA Pack Settings. I want to open this up so you can take a look at it. You can schedule when you want your wallpapers to change and you can let's see I'm going to go here to settings so you can see as you can see it gives you a bunch of options here on uh, the screen that you want changed I have mine to start with windows I have it to change only in idle state and I have it change once a day you don't want to uh, have be changing your wallpapers a whole lot because it will slow your computer down. That's why I have mine set to change only at idle and change once a day. Um, I have a massive amount of wallpapers. You can download wallpapers from the forum that I'm on, htchd2.com. or you can search the web form. Um, some people like to like to use HD walls. I used HD walls for a while. Um, I actually like using regular wallpaper. As you can see it's nice and clear as long as you download the right size wallpaper for your phone. Ninja really, excuse me if I'm not saying your name right, uh, asked, how do you install all the updates to your phone? Um, by cab file. Review my video on installing cab files. It'll show you how to download cab files to your phone. Um, looks like yours has been factory for a month. You can customize Winmo any way that you want to read up on it make sure you understand it before you start playing with your phone cab files are pretty simple just download them to your SD card and then install them to your phone I recommend games non important uh, cabs to be downloaded to your SD card so it doesn't bog down your phone's memory um, install important files uh, that will affect the operation of your phone directly onto your phone um, you can look at videos on that. You can also go to our forums and we'll be happy to answer uh, your questions on how to get those things done. You can search and we have a ton of information there that will help you out. Texas Hardest asked, um, how do you change the way your phone turns on and off? Um, I reviewed that in the beginning of the video. Um, just go to XDA forums there's a bunch of uh, they have a bunch of different wallpapers that you can download um, you can even make your own wallpaper uh, it's quite simple when you download it you just drag it over to your windows folder it'll overwrite the existing file that's in there um, doing a hard reset will bring it back to factory settings of course um, they also have the backup original T-Mobile files on that site that you can uh, reinstall. Um, it's up to you how you want to do it. I highly recommend uh, going to XDA and downloading those files. Alright, um, that answered a few of the questions that people have posted. If you have any more questions, um, I recommend joining htchd2forms.com. I'll be happy to answer them there if you post them up. Um, we have a uh, great um, administrators and mods there go check us out become a member I'm gonna go ahead and shut my phone down so you can see my shutdown screen this can also be downloaded from XDA while it's shutting down alright remember life is not an iPod and knowledge does not fall from the apple tree thanks for watching